The Project 1241 Molnia class is classified as Raketnikater by the Russian Navy, meaning missile cutter, which is equivalent to the missile boat. However, it is the Tarantul class corvette in the eyes of NATO. The ship has been serving at sea for over 45 years and Russia continues to build new ones. Today we are investigating the Project 1241 class, the past, present and future protector of Russian coasts. The Project 1241 Molnia class was the Soviet Navy's response to the rise of modern Western missile boats. Molnia means lightning, so the USSR created this fast and well-armed vessel to strike Western fleets in case of a war, as its name suggests. In 1956, the Soviet Navy became the first naval force to operate missile boats by commissioning the Project 183R class, whose NATO reporting name is the Kamar class. As the next step, in 1960, the USSR commissioned the Project 205 Musket class, whose NATO reporting name is the ASA class. During the same period, several Western countries also joined the game. Unlike the Project 205 class, their boats featured higher caliber naval guns, enhancing engagement capabilities against surface and aerial targets. They were also outfitted with highly efficient electronic warfare systems and new generation anti-ship missiles. In response, the Soviet Navy conducted a study in 1970 to determine the requirements for a new vessel. While the Almaz company began the design work on the Project 1241 class in 1973, the Yom Kippur War broke out subsequently. In the Battle of Latakia and the Battle of Baltim, the Israel Saar 4 class boats demonstrated their superiority over the Kamar and Asa classes. The Soviet vessel, lacking the electronic warfare equipment, was unable to jam Israeli Gabriel missiles. In exchange, no 15 could even reach its targets. Although they were hit by missiles, some Egyptian and Syrian boats managed to stay afloat. Nevertheless, the bow guns of the Israeli Saar force finished them off, since neither the 25mm 2M3 of the Kamar nor the 23mm AK-230 of the Asa could match the 76mm Otomelara in terms of range and destructive effect. Considering the combat report from the Eastern Mediterranean, the Soviet engineers made several adjustments to the previous design. The new missile boat would have to have a 76mm gun and more effective anti-ship missiles. Additionally, it would need to be equipped with advanced electronic warfare equipment, chaff launchers and close-in weapon systems for missile defense. The Soviet Navy also required enhancements in seaworthiness, endurance and habitability, necessitating a larger platform. Initially, they considered to equip the ship with the ZIF-122 twin arm launcher for the 4K-33 ASA-M air defense missiles at the aft. However, the engineers quickly realized that such an installation would negatively affect stabilization, exceed the determined limits of full displacement, and reduce the top speed. Consequently, this plan was abandoned. The new missile cutter would initially supplement the ASA class by providing air defense and it would eventually replace them. The first of the class, R5 was laid down in 1977 and commissioned on January 30, 1979. She was a Project 1241.1 variant, whose NATO reporting name is the Tarantul 2 class. The Project 1241.1 class was initially intended to be equipped with the new 3M80. However, this anti-ship missile was not ready when the vessel began to be commissioned. Therefore, they were outfitted with the P-15M Termit, an improved version of the older P-15. As a reference to the Termit missile, the Tarantul 2 class was occasionally designated as the Project 1241.1T class. Additionally, unlike the other Project 1241.1 class boats, which featured the Munalit T housed in a large cylindrical dome on the bridge, the R-5 had the simpler Garpun radar. The Tarantul 2 class features a steel hull with knuckles on the sides, enhancing its seaworthiness. The superstructure is made of aluminum magnesium alloy. The Project 1241.1 class has a 10 day endurance. Between 1979 and 1984, the USSR built 13 vessels of this variant. The complement of the Tarantul 2 class is 41 people. The vessel has a length of 56.1 meters, a beam of 10.2 meters, and a drought of 2.25 meters. 
Its standard and fully loaded displacements are approximately 392 and 469 tons respectively. The combined gas or gas propulsion system comprises two 8,008 horsepower DR77 gas turbines and two 2,497 horsepower DR76 gas turbines. Its maximum speed exceeds 42 knots. The Tarantul 2 class has a range of 1,800 nautical miles, in other words, 3,335 kilometers at a speed of 13 knots. One Project 1241.1 class boat, R71, was rebuilt after her completion to serve as a test vessel for the Kortik Closen weapon system. As the only example of its variant, known as Project 1241.7, she was commissioned on June 10, 1985. Her fully loaded displacement is 495 tons. Defined as the Tarantul II mod class, R-71 remains in active service, but her cortic was removed in 2005. The Project 1241RE class is the export variant, with the NATO reporting name of Tarantul I class. Unlike the Soviet Navy versions, these vessels lack data link capability and feature Garpun E radar mounted on the mast instead of at the top of the bridge. Furthermore, the Tarantul 1 class is equipped with the P 20 anti ship missiles, which is a downgraded export variant of the P 15M. The first vessel of this variant, R 26, was commissioned on March 30, 1981. The Soviet Navy operated her to train foreign crews. The USSR built 25 Tarantul 1s. India acquired 5 Project 1241RE class boats directly from the USSR and then constructed an additional 6 locally. The Indian Navy designated Tarantul 1 class vessels as the Veer class corvettes. Unlike the original Soviet built variants, the last 6 feature 123,300 horsepower General Electric LM2500 gas turbine and two 5110 horsepower MTU-12V-538TB92 diesel engines in Koga configuration, enabling a top speed of 43 knots. Their fully loaded displacement is 455 tons and their complement is 37 personnel. Also known as the Project 1241.1M class, the Project 12411 class includes several enhancements. It is outfitted with two 8,008 horsepower DR77 gas turbines and two 4,000 horsepower M504 diesels in Kodak configuration, achieving a top speed of 41 knots. It has a fully loaded displacement of 493 tons, a drought of 2.5 meters, and a complement of 40 personnel. The first vessel of this variant, R46, was commissioned on December 29, 1981. Aside from a modest yet functional internal redesign, the Project 12411 class differs from its predecessors in improved fuel efficiency, extended service life expectancy, and an advanced countermeasure suite. The early models, whose NATO reporting name is Taranto 3, were armed with three M80 Musket anti ship missiles. The later ships, defined as the Project 12411.1 MR class, are equipped with the P270 Musket M and have received the NATO reporting name of Tarantul 3 mod. One Project 12411 class vessel, R160, was converted into a gunboat in 1997 and renamed as MAK160. She lost her 3M80s and Munalit radar and is equipped with four 140mm 17 barreled BM 1417 rocket launchers. The export version of the Tarantul 3 class lacks data link capability and Munalit radar. Only one boat of this variant has been built and is currently serving in the Egyptian Navy. The Tarantul 3 class R60 is equipped with the Panzer M instead of the AK-630. A total of 34 Project 12411 class vessels were built. Unlike the previous variants, the Project 12418 class, designated as the Tarantul 4 class by NATO, is equipped with three M24 anti-ship missiles. It's powered by a 32,015 horsepower M15 E1 gas turbine. It has a fully loaded displacement of 500 tons, a top speed of 40 knots and a drought of 2.6 meters. Its crew consists of 40 personnel. Vietnam acquired two Tarantul 4 class corvettes directly from Russia and built six more locally. India's last two locally built Veer class corvettes, INS Pralaya and INS Prabal, are considered as the Project 12411.8 class. 
However, they have a 76mm Super Rapido gun, a fully loaded displacement of 560 tons, a top speed of 35 knots, and a range of 3600 km. Originally built for foreign customers, the Russian Navy has acquired two Project 12421 class vessels. They feature a reconfigured superstructure design and stealth AK-630 turrets. With a complement of 44 crew members, the Project 12421 class differs from the Project 12411.1 class in its 2.65 meter drought, 550 tons of fully loaded displacement and a top speed of 38 knots. Its propulsion system and armament are the same as those of the Project 12418 class. The Project 12421.2 class, whose NATO reporting name is the PAW class, is the anti-submarine warfare variant of the Tarantul class. Bulgaria, Egypt, India, Romania, Russia, Turkmenistan, Vietnam and Yemen are the current operators of the Corvette. East Germany, Poland, Ukraine and the USSR are the former users. After the unification, Federal Germany received the Tarantul class vessels of the Folkmarine but decommissioned them shortly after. One of these corvettes, Rudolf Eaglehofer, which was later renamed as Hudunzi, was transferred to the US Navy for evaluation and trial purposes in 1991. Under the name USNS Hiddensee, she remained in service until 1996. Iraq ordered at least one Tarantul class vessel, but due to the 1991 Gulf War, it was never delivered. Although some sources claim that Nicaragua ordered these boats, none have been delivered so far. Once the target is detected, the P-15M equipped Tarantul 1 and Tarantul 2 classes must close in on the optimum engagement distance, which is approximately 28 to 37 km. Once prepared to launch, the corvette must face the target, maintain a speed of 15 knots or less, and hold its course for 20 to 30 seconds before launching the first salvo of two missiles. The active radar-guided P-15M, designated as SSN-2C by NATO, has a speed of Mach 0.9 and a maximum range of 100 km. Its hollow charge warhead weighs 454 kilograms. The ramjet powered active radar guided 3M80 musket with a NATO reporting name of SSN 22 Sunburn has a speed of Mach 2.3 and a maximum range of 120 km. With a 300 kg warhead, its P270 musket M variant can reach a distance of 250 km. The active radar guided 3M24 Uran, whose NATO reporting name is SSN25 Switchblade, has a speed of Mach 0.88 and a maximum range of 130 km. Its warhead weighs 145 kg. Equipped with a quadruple tube MTU 4 launcher on the stern, the Tarantul class can fire the infrared homing 9K32 M Strela 2M, 9K34 Strela 3, or 9K310 Igla 1 missiles. The ship can carry up to 16 manpads. The 76mm AK 176M gun has a rate of fire of 120 to 130 rounds per minute. Its effective ranges against surface and aerial targets are 10 and 7 km, respectively. The 76mm Super Rapido gun of the two Indian corvettes has an effective range of 16 km and a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. The Tarantul class vessels typically feature two AK-630 six-barrel closed weapon systems capable of a rate of fire of 5,000 rounds per minute and a range of approximately 5,000 meters. The Cortic, whose NATO reporting name is CADSN-1 Kashtan, combines two 30mm six-barrel guns and up to eight 9M311 air defense missiles. The effective ranges of the gun and missile are 4,000 and 8,000 meters, respectively. The Panzer M utilizes the same gun armament as the Cortic, but it can fire the Germes K or 57E6, which have ranges of 118 km respectively. It also has improved jamming resistance. The combat career of the Tarantul class has been relatively uneventful compared to its 45-year service. R-42 of the Soviet Navy was involved in a shooting accident that resulted in the sinking of the Musson on April 16, 1917. INS Prahar sank following a collusion on April 22, 2006. On February 1, 2024, Ukrainian naval drones sank Ivanovets.
The Tarantul class was the Soviet Navy's hasty response to the emergence of modern Western missile boats. Consequently, neither its propulsion system nor its main armament was ready when the first vessels were delivered. These issues were corrected in later models. However, shortly thereafter, the First Cold War ended and the West learned all about the Tarantul class. As a result, it has never been a deterrent factor to Western fleets as the Russians had hoped. Still, it has defended many nations' coast for 45 years and will continue doing its job for a long time. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.